Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? jump right in for today and we're gonna go over a kind of a brand new ensemble that actually came to me from Instagram Uh, I was you know following um, the uh, ever popular reactor uh, tag that I like to look at and uh, I came across this guy um, at hell.sin and uh, if you check out some of his more recent videos, and you hear um, some of the uh, awesome things that this thing can do when, especially, you play some drums or whatever kind of sounds, I'm sure, through it. Um, it does some wild things uh, with audio that you run through it. And um, he, I, I asked uh, him when he would make this available, and he made it available. So, um, what I've done is I've downloaded it and uh you can do the same. If you if you check out tell you what what we're going to do so that I can kind of talk about this is we're going to take the composition and we're going to move it out a little bit and give us a little bit of runway. We'll give ourselves a runway of a couple of minutes to talk about it. There we go. Um, And, uh, you know, you might not even hear that uh, wildness. If uh, you're just listening or uh, you're watching the video, I might just cut that part out. Um, Or you might just uh, not even hear the audio or what's uh, distracting me there. But uh, I have the song playing nonetheless. And um, what I want to do is I want to explain um, this particular ensemble that uh, this guy has taken the time to make available through the Reactor user community. And if you go to his Instagram at hell.sin, you'll see some videos of it. If you go to nativeinstruments.com slash en slash reactor dash community slash reactor dash user dash library slash entry slash show slash this is the one id 13049 or just search rework hits you'll see it and the author is uh, rain at hell.sin it's an effect and it says to start i should point out the only noise generation the samples came from a continuous kick drum pattern in the loop everything else is a rework hit and tones further process with external effects the external effects are a vo codex reverb classic and delay three with cut back sample rate and more bit crush so um you know lots of description about what it can do and um the coolest thing is to, to me, just kind of hook it up and run sound through it and see what it does. Uh, But, you know, he's already on top of, like, fixes and doing additional features uh, in the new new version. The original point was doing away with sending out Eurorack recordings for friends as building blocks for all sorts of sounds, using a process to do in my personal collection. This does away with sending waves through the internet to take up a ton of space. It is my Euro rack replacement. This is just addicting as my hardware synth. In version one, uploaded things were interesting. This before I added LFO and scan modes that were later added for 2.1. Passing through a solo kick drum ended up turning into a full on bass line. Wubs and synths that should be unheard of coming from a kick. So, uh, very true. And um, what you can also do is just kind of run some sound through it and see what this thing sounds like. Um, so, we're going to join our composition in progress, and, uh, we're going to run some sound through it here towards the end. We're going to give it some extra flavor. Uh, Thank you. 
and as you can see, there's there's some effects built in. There's like some bit crushing. There's some distortion. There's some delay. Uh, but all that kind of happens at you know the touch of a couple of knobs, and it's it's a really interesting effect uh, just to just to run some singular sound through it. So, I mean, what I can gather, uh, attenuate is a, a classic VCA link to things and relay with a divided signal. Global control. I'm just reading the description. Uh, global control of the whole show. A little change makes a difference. It's turned up way down. The audio gets cut off. If turned, let's let me read that correctly. If turned all the way down, the audio end gets cut off. So um, that makes sense, and it just essentially attenuates the um, sensitivity to it. And then you have some other uh, boosts and areas where you can affect the kind of EQ and the way it sounds. TikTok. LFO rate based on reactor host BPM. Scan. And these little three switches, you barely see them, take you through the main modes, full, isolated, and scan. Only one can be selected at a time. At a time. So, unexpected things happen. Obviously, all the time when messing with Reactor, so be sure to keep an eye on your levels. Uh, but overall, man, this is a really, really cool effect. And, um, you know, I'm really, uh, really enjoying um, just messing with it. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to, uh, you know, run things through this just in the future, man, to have this in the, in the arsenal, in the toolbox. So. Now, on that note, until next time.